Hello, I am thrilled to present today's video which addresses a widely sought after topic, essential Excel shortcuts that are not only beneficial for you, but also valuable for your colleagues. These shortcuts are indispensable for anyone who works with Excel regularly. They will not only boost your efficiency, but also streamline your Excel experience. Let's delve into these essential Excel shortcuts that are worth knowing and sharing. Click anywhere inside your data set, use Ctrl Shift here to add a filter to this, and then you can go about using the usual filter options. And then press enter. That's my list. To deactivate the filter, click inside the data set. Ctrl Shift Hell takes it away. It's a toggle. Ctrl Shift Hell puts it back and Ctrl Shift Hell takes it away. Click anywhere inside the table and press Ctrl T. The table has headers. Click OK. Design tab is activated. You have lots more options. You can decide on the style you want. You can add the row to tattoo this, summarize with a pivot table, or remove duplicates. To so jump from one side of your data set to the bottom, use Ctrl down arrow. To so jump to the right, Ctrl right arrow. To so jump to the left, Ctrl left arrow. Jump back up, Ctrl hop arrow. This is much faster than using the scroll bar. Now, if you want to jump to the bottom, but highlight everything in between, use Ctrl Shift down. Ctrl Shift right arrow highlights everything on the right side. I can click on the home button to take me to the top of the data set. So if I have some text here, and use the Ctrl Shift right arrow, it highlights everything there. It doesn't jump to D because D is in fact empty. This information is sitting in F. If I wanted to format all of this, I'm going to use Ctrl Shift down to highlight them and Ctrl one, which takes me to the format cell options. I can decide on my formatting and then press enter. If I'm not using an Excel table and I want to add the sum to this, just click on the cell below or above your data set. Use Alt equals sign. That automatically imputes the sum function for you and it tries to figure out the range that you probably want to sum. So in this case, it has correctly figured it out. If I had the number here and I use the auto sum here, it thinks that I want to have these two numbers and press enter. So it's quite smart in trying to figure out what you want to sum. If you want to copy and paste your formula, but you want to have your numbers as hard coded, so you want to paste it as values without the formula behind it, you need this shortcut. So first, Ctrl C to copy, and then Alt ESV to bring up the paste special dialog. All you have to do now is to press enter, and you've pasted it as values. Now you'll notice it's a difficult one to remember. The way I remember it is eat some vitamins, ESV. You just have to figure out something that works for you. To move down a line inside a cell, click Alt Enter. Now you can input your text and you can adjust the formatting as you like. To select the entire data in the current region, click anywhere inside the data set and press Ctrl A. Once your data set is highlighted, to insert a default chart, click Alt F1. The next one is a great one. Let's say you want to add email addresses to this. And you want to repeat this pattern for the next ones. It should be Maria Garcia and so on. I'm going to hold down the shift key and the down arrow key to highlight this area. And then I'm going to press Ctrl E. That's the flash fill magic. It tries to figure out the correct pattern based on the pattern that I gave it first. In this case, I just gave it one option and it figured it out correctly. Sometimes for flash fill to work properly, you might need to give it more sample data. 
To highlight an entire row, use Shift Space. And to highlight an entire column, use Control Space. To insert a new row or column, use Control Shift Plus. This brings up the Insert dialog box. You can select an entire row, an entire column, but because we already learned a shortcut before this, we're going to use that first. So let's say I want to insert an entire column. I'm going to highlight the whole column. What was the shortcut key? Control space and Control shift plus will automatically add a column. Now let's repeat that for row. Shift space selects the entire row and Control shift plus inserts a new row. To remove an entire row, Control shift minus. To remove an entire column, it's Control minus But if you want to avoid the dialog box, we're going to highlight the entire column first, and then we're going to do Control shift minus If you want to drag an entire row and drop it somewhere else, so let's say I want to move Robert Brown in between James and Maria, what I'm going to do is highlight the entire row. Now, if I drag this and let go, it's going to try to replace this data, but I don't want it to replace it. I want to actually put it in between these two. So here you drag it, but while you're dragging it, you're going to hold down the shift key and that's going to insert it between these two. To hide the column, use Ctrl zero. To hide an entire row, use Ctrl nine. When I first receive a new workbook from someone else, I want to check if anything has been hidden in there or not. The shortcut key I use is Alt and Semicolon. That highlights the visible cells only. And this way, I get a visual indication that some rows and cells have been hidden. If nothing comes up, nothing is highlighted, and it means that no rows or columns have been hidden. Now, let's say I've updated this information here. I want to add a timestamp to this. I'm going to use the shortcut key Control semicolon and if I want to add the time to it, I'm going to add the space and use Control colon and press enter. One bonus tip, when I receive a new file and I want to highlight all the constants in that file, I press F5, Alt S O X, enter. This highlights all the numbers that don't have formulas behind them. So here I can see this has a formula behind it. And with that, we have reached the end of this tutorial. It's been a pleasure sharing this essential Excel shortcut with you today. Here's a valuable tip. I recommend selecting three shortcuts from today's list that you may not have known before, but you foresee as useful in your Excel journey. Practice them a few times to get a hang of it. And if you have any other favorite Excel shortcuts, that you find yourself using regularly, please share them with us in the comments below. I am not quite sure what the keyboard shortcut for the thumbs up button is, but if you're in the know, don't hesitate to use it. Otherwise, a simple click on the thumbs up icon will do the trick. For your convenience, I have provided a list of all the shortcuts discussed in this video below. Feel free to print it out, keep it handy, and share it with your colleagues. Stay tuned for my next video where I will continue to explore Excel's incredible capabilities. See you soon.